Welcome back to The Price of Business. I'm your host, Kevin Price, talking to you about you and your business. Let's spend some time talking to Chuck Blakeman. He recently contributed an article to uh, priceofbusiness.com, ongoing series of articles on a lot of different topics where it's about the rubber meeting the road when it comes to your business. He is a uh, professional speaker and uh, business consultant extraordinaire. And uh, his article at priceofbusiness.com is on the importance of relationship in your sales process. Chuck, welcome to the program. Thanks, Kevin. It's great to be with you. Tell us a little bit about uh, about yourself, your background, and uh, you know your um, approach to relationship when it comes to business sales. Sure, I built uh, I built eight businesses. I'm a serial entrepreneur. Uh, we the, the the two businesses we have now, one is in Africa and the other is on four continents, and the, and that's the Crankset Group. We provide tools for business owners to get off the treadmill with companies with one to nineteen stakeholders and help them grow healthy businesses. And uh, our mission there is just to, pro- to provide tools for business leaders to make more money in less time, get off the treadmill, and get back to the passion that brought them into business. Yeah, that's good. That's very good. Talk about the importance of relationship in business. Yeah, Kevin, one of the biggest misconceptions people have is that, that uh, their job is to make people fall in love with their product, and really they need to fall in love with the, the people who are selling the product. And, and if you do that, the, they're much more likely to buy from you. Zig, Zig, Zig Ziglar said it, and everybody else says it. People buy from people they know, like, and trust. And, and so the, the idea here is that in, in a business, the closer you get to a hug, the more likely you are to do business with somebody else. The relationship is everything. We shouldn't be selling products. We should be building relationships. It's the great relationship that is going to bring you the overwhelming majority of your future clients. And, 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 and the best place to build that relationship is with your existing clients because that's where 90-plus percent of our future clients come from. Yeah, Absolutely. Uh, tell me a little bit about uh, what you know the kind of clients that you have. Kind of give us a range of the size, industries, that type of thing. Yeah, we have two divisions. We have a, a, a one division that does uh, works focused solely on one to nineteen stakeholder employee uh, businesses. So very small local businesses that can be bought, sold, and inherited. And then we have another division that focuses on larger corporations to help them build their culture and and. Uh, change their hiring practices, and get away from the, the traditional industrial wage management practices. Okay. What, is, what would be the large size of uh, your clientele in terms of businesses? Uh, how big are they? Yeah. Well, the biggest we've worked with recently is a, a company with 300-plus uh, 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 stakeholders, what, what we call stakeholders employees. But I've, I've worked with Microsoft, uh, Apple, Oracle, Octel, uh, quite a few pharmaceutical companies as well. So we've been around the horn. But I don't tend to get involved in those giant corporate, corporations anymore as much, frankly, because it's very hard to make an impact. Yeah, it is. It is. And, and you really, on the, on the end, not only do you want for the client to be able to see a quantifiable difference, you want a client, client quantifiable difference to, uh, you know, enjoy yourself that you can point yep. to. And so uh makes it much better for yourself and for the client. So uh, what is your sweet spot? Well, our sweet spot uh, for our business is uh, uh, is a company with uh, 50 to, to 250 people who, uh, uh, and it's a company that wants to get out of the industrial age. Most of the, the uh, business practices that we have today are dusty old industrial age things that we should not have in our business anymore. So, for instance, we're... We're uh, teaching companies how to eliminate managers altogether uh, and, and never have another manager. Nobody's managed. We're teaching companies how to change employees into stakeholders, change managers into leaders. And when you change managers into leaders, you need about one-tenth as many of them. Uh, we want to participate, what we call participation age companies, people who are looking to, to develop a company that will make more money and, and have more longevity because they pay attention to the people who work for them. Well, that's an interesting note to end on. We could probably do a whole segment on the uh, getting rid of those managers. I think, uh, you know, we had created a bureaucratic model. model. I'm, I'm in shock. My, every day on my show, I interview technologies that are simply eliminating not only managers, but all kinds of layers. And people get scared of this, but the reality is, is I believe in the long term, it's going to improve all of our qualities of life. Real quickly, yeah, all, Chuck. The, all, the, all the research says that the productivity goes up when you eliminate managers. They're the biggest bottleneck in business. Absolutely. Real quickly, uh, your website before we let you go, Chuck. 
Uh, ChuckBlakeman.com. Read my blog and you'll know everything you need to know. You'll never have to hire me. ChuckBlakeman.com. There you go. ChuckBlakeman.com. Don't hire him. Read his blog. No, we don't mean that. But anyway, thanks so much, Chuck. Appreciate it. You bet, buddy. Thank you. All right. When we come back, much more for you. I do want to remind you that the best content here shows up over there at USAToReview.com. And this is The Price of Business. It's the end. 